All right, everybody, welcome to the What's Next podcast. I'm your host, Levi Casada. I'm here with a very special guest today, all the way from North County, wine country, one of the top agents out there. Please welcome Jennifer and Conklin. How are you doing today? Hi, great. Thanks. Yeah, it's a pleasure having you. Is this your first podcast? Yes. Are yes, you serious? It's awesome. Are you, the experience has been great so far. Oh, VIP. Okay, good. Red carpet. Good, good, cookies, good. Cookies. How drinks. was your How was your trip down here? Oh, I had a driver. I usually have That's, a driver. Uh, I figured. Yeah, you just got you, you pop no in the car. Way. Yeah, you do work. If you don't have a private jet, you have to have a driver. <laughs> <laughs> they flew you right in here and picked you up. You're VIP. Yep. You're VIP. Well, nice. Well, it's great having you. Thank you. And we're gonna start the show like I always start the shows. We're gonna do a little icebreaker. Okay. Get nice and comfortable. Okay. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Okay. We are going to talk about what would you rather? Would you rather? Okay. We'll start with a crazy one. Would you rather have lobster claws or hedge clippers for hands? Hedge clippers. Kind of like or a, lobster claws. Is the hedge clippers like Edward Scissorhands? Yeah, I think Johnny they would Depp? be. Johnny Depp. Uh, he did a good job in that, but hmm, lobster? Would it have to be in the water? Do you like lobster? <laughs> just, water? Mermaid. I if do. I can be a mermaid, I'll take the lobster claws. <laughs> Mermaids are sexy. Okay. So you had the lobster claws. Yep. I like that. That's I'm going a, with that's the lobster claws. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to go that far that way, but yes, I like that answer. Okay. The lobster claws, it wins. We're okay. Virgos. We ha we, had to overanalyze. You over. Thank you. We're going to get to that <laughs> later. Okay. Here's another one. And this one kind of relates to today. Uh, would like not today, today, but overall, would you rather have free groceries for a year or all your bills paid for six months? All my bills paid for six months. Easy one. Oh. But don't you have children? Mm -hmm. You have three children. They all live with you? Yes. So wouldn't groceries be? Either way. Either way. <laughs> it all Six, sounds it's good a, to me. <laughs> for a year of groceries, okay. Knowing me, I'd fight for both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Okay, here's the next one. This one we talked about earlier today between uh, Tony and Rachel. We couldn't decide. I don't know you very well, but we're going to see. Would you rather go on a 30-day fast from food or from music? From food or music. What would you rather not have for 30 days? If I could close my eyes and sleep through the whole thing, I'll go without the food. <laughs> and just listen to music. If you I would don't go into just a that I didn't eat, uh, yeah. So you'd go without food. Going without music isn't going to help my physique at all. Well, we just talked about that too. You couldn't post anything or you couldn't watch anything because everything is put to music these days. We just talked about the uh, Top Gun soundtrack, like how awesome that is. Mm -hmm. You can't even watch movies. It, the, it would be so plain. <laughs> It'd be so plain that you just couldn't watch anything. So you're right. I think food. Yep. I couldn't. I couldn't live without either. Okay, this one's for Tony because he is a terrible. You'll see. Uh, would you rather forget how to spell or add? He's, he's a terrible speller. That's why. I don't mind spelling at all. Anyone knows what you're trying to say, even if you misspell. But I if you, you miss add, that's my commission. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> that's what I was saying. So you would you rather not be able to spell. You'd be able to forget how to spell. Yeah, auto, auto I could correct. pay somebody to auto spell correct. for me. Auto correct. <laughs> who, who is going to do my finances? They're going to steal my is money. so much more important than yeah. my spelling. <laughs> we had another person say that they don't even add, but that's a younger generation. So they... Pick up oh, calculators it, because they think the AI is going to do everything yep, for them. That's, oh, the machines gosh. are going to take the over. Homework. The homework is always uh, yeah. sneaking the internet and yeah, calculators. Yeah, calculators. <laughs> it's, it's part of our day, you know. Our kids will never know what we had to go through oh. and actually add. And, right. You know, the long division, oof, scares me still. Those are fun. Yeah. Okay, here's the next one. Would you? This one's getting a little gross. And it's a Virgo, so I kind of want to see where you stand on this because I'm very Virgo, I think. Would you rather eat food out of a trash can or eat food with mold all over it? <laughs> I'll cut the mold off the cheese. Yeah. There you go. But not off the trash can. Yeah. Yep. yep. I'm the same way. But the, uh, either way. Oof. Not Just meat. the food no. touching. Cheese? The cheese. It's, it's mold. It's, aged it's already 24 mold. months anyways. It's already, <laughs> it's already molded. <laughs> okay. There's the next one. Would you rather have a magic button that erases songs you hate or bad movies from being released? Bad movies. Yeah. What's the, what's the recent bad movie you've seen oh not recent but what was that one wrong turn 
<laughs> God, what Which was one? it? Demi, it's called Wrong Turn. You're, oh, I, it's the first time I ever walked out of a theater. Oh, That's you not recent. Out? That was a long time ago. You were in a BMW. Who was it? Was it? I don't remember if it was Demi Moore. Ch- Chevy Chase? No. Chevy oh, Chase, so. that's the um, is that a scary oh, one? Nothing But Trouble. I don't know. With uh, Ch- um, John Candy. Maybe. Where they were like, they were, and they played multiple characters. and Maybe it was. Like one a of judge. Them yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's it's Nothing the, But Trouble. You know what? Knows. That yep. won't say the word. Yep, yep. That was so horrible. I, it, it would take a lot for that somebody to walk out of a theater. That was a long time ago. I walked out, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I've never seen a worse movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they're out there. Okay. <laughs> they are. Top Gun. Trust me. Hey, dude, you can't be plugging Top Gun like that. We're, we're all excited. This generation is excited. Tonight. I know. Whoop. Yeah, we want your Isn't review. That today is yeah. the day. Yeah, it's the Thursday release, the late night, the first. If they change the music, the soundtrack, I would be so disappointed. I know. Berlin, she ran that whole show. It was a great soundtrack. And I met her, so that was kind of cool. Really? And Temecula, Wilson Creek Winery. Oh. I was with Tracy. I think the only that's the only soundtrack that actually a male can feel still oh, masculine because so it's much. it's such a romantic <laughs> no, so soundtrack, true. right? It's a very romantic like the songs and the beats and everything, but I can still play it yeah. and I'm like, the yeah. With the boys. What's okay, up? But that's yeah. because it's the 80s. <laughs> it's yeah. It's the 80s and we have the best music in the 80s. They had the best mu- music in the 80s. I, yeah. I totally agree. You could still agree. hear all the words. Yep. Oh, I totally agree. And then with they that. used to come up with their own beat. You remember that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they actually came over their own music back in the day. <laughs> right? Like that, yeah, the little Yeah, everybody's not stealing their music. Or they're stealing it now. <laughs> okay, this is a good one too. And then we'll have one more after this. Would you rather be able to communicate with animals and have them help you whenever you're in need, or have your favorite pet live as long as you do? Communicate with the animals. Oh, really? Oh, come on, you can have all the pets. That's true. That's yes. everything. That's a great answer. That's it. Uh, he, he, he had that answer too. I don't know because I've had a dog and I had a dog pass away. And you're like, no, like that feeling is just like, if I could have them live for Come on, forever. one is magical and one is human. That's true. Yeah. You know, or not That's human, true. but yeah. Like normal. They're going to pass away no matter what. <laughs> right. But, but you can't communicate with animals. I'll take that. Yeah, you'll take that. All I'll day. take the superhero power any day. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> An army of lions or something. The lions, yeah, just listen to them. Have them help you. Be like, yeah. lions. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> Elephants. The, the Thundercats. Here you go. Got all the monkeys doing. Yeah. Stuff. Help you out. Okay. Last one. Would you rather have a seller that is a hoarder or a buyer that always calls you last minute to see a house? A buyer who calls me last minute to see a house is probably going to buy something. And the, the hoarders, it's, it's tough to take photos for them and stuff. <laughs> I've done that their too. House, I know. I'll take them both. You'll take them both. I'll take them both. I, I look in the camera. Tell them who you are. Take them both. I'm Jennifer Conklin. I'll take them both. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I asked this, because I watched a video of you, where this is what's leading up to it. Tell us your story about showing up with your dress backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I died. I didn't even realize. I couldn't even on that video, and you just went like this, and here's the tag. Did you walk that whole? Did you walk the whole time? And you, yeah. Yeah, that was after the showing. The good you, news is it's a dress that you can't tell. It I, looks the same front or back. That's amazing. So you can't tell. I yeah. couldn't tell. And it wasn't until the day was over that I was scratching me. What is, what is <laughs> oh, it's my tag. Yes, I had a client and he uh, was letting me in to see his home. We had a whole 45 minute notice. I'm yeah. 32 minutes away from the property living. Oh, man. I have to be there in 45 minutes. And yeah. I'm like. Not even ready. I got, like, my slippers on. You remember back in the day we had slippers? Yeah. I was, like, just rolling out of bed, <laughs> threw my hair up, <laughs> threw my dress on. Didn't and take the, a second look. Threw but your dress on backwards. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I love it. But you do anything. That's what you're saying is that, oh, yeah. you, you know, oh, yeah. call me anytime. And I'm glad I went there. You, yeah, it was awesome. There you go. Yeah. That's what it leads up to. And you know what? You're a native Californian. Yeah. You have not live, lived anywhere else, correct? Nope. So you're in Marietta now. I'm in Marietta. Which I've done my research. I really, the more research I do about Marietta, the more I want to live there. Like, you just kind of look at, like, how awesome it is. Do you know who else wants to live there? Who else? Oh, is she in this room? Oh, no, we're talking celebrities. Oh, celebrities. Yeah, no, it's, it's the place to be. I kid you not, if you Google Marietta, it just gives you a list of, like, why, why, why should you live here? Like, this is like lowest crime, just like right. affordable living, beautiful scenery, a 
close to this, close to that. Well, it's, it's just amazing. Go, well, the area that I'm working a yeah. lot is the cars that you see, the Lamborghinis and the Ferraris. Wow. Like, this is just Marietta. And most people own their homes there. That's also what I've read. Like yeah. most people, they're not renters. They're But I don't just homeowners. work Marietta. I work La Correct, Cresta, correct. That's just where you live. Toulouse. That's just I live where, in yeah. Marietta, but yeah. But you where are, I work, I'm driving up every day in my Mini Cooper because it gets good gas mileage. Yeah, I don't take you. the good car out, the good cars. But yeah, and then I'm passing by these amazing cars. And I'm like, we're not in Beverly Hills. We're I know. In La Cresta. <laughs> That's amazing, though. And you just had a listing in La Cresta. I have that, several in La Cresta. It, okay, good. And you closed one. You just closed one we recently. Just closed one. It was a fifty-two fifty-eight square foot on Via Sevilla. So anyone can look it up now, which is cool. Yeah. Two one zero two one Via Sevilla dot com is the website. It was the home of Aaron and Lauren Gwynn. Oh, wow. So Aaron Gwynn was five-time world champion of downhill mountain biking. Yeah. And they reached out to us, which is really awesome because we hold open houses a lot. So we're at an open house. And these these cute people show up. They're younger and, you know, super cute. And they had said, hey, we see your signs everywhere. And we want to know if you would like to come and uh, take a look at our home if you'd consider listing it. And so me and my business partner, Kelly, were there. And we were like, yeah, we'll stop by after open house. So they give us the address, and we talked to them a little bit about what, you know, they thought they would list it for. And they gave us, you know, just the address and said they want to sell it for, like, maybe 3 to 3.5. Yeah. I get there. It's the most beautiful home I've ever seen in La Cresta. It is modern, contemporary. Did they build it? They built it. Oh, wow. They, he bought the lot in 2012 for something, I don't know, 240 or 265 for the lot. Wow. He put, I think, something like $2.3 into it. Okay. We— Listed it for four million. When I saw it, I said, "Oh, we're listing it for four million. Yeah. He was like, "Are you sure? We're listing it for four million. We just closed for four point six. That's amazing. Six hundred thousand over. Right now, I believe we're the highest price sold comp per square foot in all of La Cresta, ever. That's eight hundred and seventy-five dollars a square foot. So we, he brought. There we go. <laughs> Congratulations. So he, he brought Malibu to La Cresta, which is kind of what we said. But this property has. Views of the mountains, yeah. views of the ocean they have from views, La Cresta. Really? Oh, it's gorgeous. So it had it had all the details. Yeah. And he did a lot. It, everything. You half a million in landscaping. Yeah. Um the, the structure is amazing. Well, it was a custom home. It was a one owner. It's not just yeah. custom. It's just beautiful. I mean, it's I lay, I laid on the couch and looked up and I was like, Oh, it's like you're in a museum. Yeah. Gorgeous. That's incredible. Congratulations. And then you have more listings out there as well. We do right now. We have a listing with uh, Ashley Collins. She is a world-renowned contemporary artist. And her property is over 11,000 square feet of living space and 24 car garage. 24. Does it have a turn, like one of those turntable to get out? You know how sometimes when you have such big space, they have these cars that you drive on and they turn your car straight. Mm. Built in 2001-ish. But no, it's but got two, 24 is, two driveways, yeah. one circular driveway, and one that goes all mm. the way to the guest house. Now, the guest house is four bedroom, two bath. Oh, wow. And the main house is over 8,000. No, <sighs> just about 8,000 square feet. So Four bedroom, two bath. 20 car garage under the studio, her art studio, yeah. and then it's a four car garage under the main house. Are these all in the mountains? It's in La Cresta. So it's okay. just, just like the foothills of Marietta. Okay. So the way I describe it is that uh, La Cresta is to Marietta as Deleuze is to Temecula. Okay. So you've got that mountain range. Right. So if you know Temecula and you know Deleuze, which Deleuze is more um, gentle rolling hills, but a lot more vineyard greenery. If you want to plant something, grow groves, avocado groves, you would go to Deleuze. But if you want equestrian, forest community, and a lot of celebrities, then you go to La Cresta. La Cresta. Yeah, and that property we just closed, yeah. Via Sevilla, we got an offer on that one from Alicia Keys. Oh, really? Yeah, we got to meet her in person, me and my business Was this Kelly. before she bought the Razor House, or is this recent? Which Razor? This Did, was in April. Yeah, I so, just she met her bought, last month. so she bought the Razor House, which was in La Jolla. After that, La Jolla. After we La Jolla. So the, just, yeah, so it's recent. So if you let her the last agent month, that's yeah. Older La Jolla. Yeah, it's a Douglas, and, um, Douglas Element one, right? I think from L.A. Who are those guys, the Altman? Oh, that sold her the house? I think so, yeah. Uh, it was a... well, I don't know if I can say her agent. I don't really know. Oh, yeah, I don't Yeah, That's but okay. no, I don't know. You can cut He drives this. a black Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> He's cool. Um, yeah. They wrote an offer on our property. They tried to see how, you so know. So she what... wants to be in two places. That's cool. Oh, she did. No, she's, well, I won't say. Okay. But anyways, well, yeah. yes. She wasn't done when she couldn't get our listing. We, she couldn't get the buyer to fall out of escrow on ours. And the minute he oh. found out that she wrote an offer, the buyer upped his offer yeah. by 50000 because we were... 
like, okay, you're to the buyer that was in. We're like, okay, you need to breach the contract or something because we have Alicia Keys on the yeah. line. And, and her husband was calling me and saying, what do we need to do to get this property? And I said, no, oh, the buyer has to breach the contract. Yeah, sorry. So I know. Can't do everything for celebrities. The buyer was pretty amazing too. Yeah. So, you know, I love the guy. So it's like, hey, sorry. Yeah, I mean, you can only do so much. Like that's... But, what a great situation. Whether I sell to Alicia Keys or I sell to the buyer and double in the transaction, yeah. I was like, win, 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 yeah. win. I'll take them both. That's amazing. That's but, amazing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. How would, how, okay, let's transition back. You, you weren't always in real estate. You worked for Albertsons for quite a long time. 15 years. 15 years. Yeah. Okay. So, so, and you also, your, your background, you went to school, business law mm -hmm. and management. Uh -huh. Did that kind of help out? Like, transitioning like where did everything helps but what really helped I worked at Albertsons for 15 years yeah I I had been wanting to get into real estate and my uh, grocery manager oh bless his heart he said you know what we'll put you on leave for six months you can try out real estate if it's not the thing for you I'll hold your job open that's the only thing that got me to step off and to really give it my all into yeah. real estate and Right when I got my license, four months later, I closed four transactions and wow. made more money in that four months than I made all year in Albertsons. <laughs> and I was like, bye bye. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great to have someone that has your back. That especially first, you've been there. It's hard to make that leap. You've been there for so long. You know everybody. You love seeing the regulars come in. You know what I'm saying? You get in this comfort zone. Oh yeah. And then to be like, go and make money doing a whole different thing, so only commission-based. Old school, back in the dinosaur days, we were always worried about the medical insurance. Yes. I think we still... And that's are. what <laughs> Albertsons gave you was medical insurance. Yes. Zero copay. So yep. I felt like I was spoiled. I never had to pay for medical. And so that was the big thing for me. Um, had my twins. They're 20 years old now, but having twins was considered high risk. And yeah. I paid like zero copay, zero out of pocket. And to leave... Medical insurance was like, wow. But then it didn't matter. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You start now seeing those paychecks. Now that I was as successful and, yeah. as I am, I was like, what was I worried about? Right. You just never always know your self-worth or what you're capable of until, you know, yeah. years later. <laughs> until years later. And I, yeah, and you're pretty recent. I mean, there's a lot of people, you're, what, eight years in now, I think, as real oh, estate? no. Oh, I thought you joined since in 2006. 20, six, oh, 2006. Talking, I thought it was 2016. What is that? Six, 16 years. 16 mm -hmm. years. That's right. Yeah. Okay. No, gosh, if I was, yeah, if I was I know. this good in that short of time, I'd, uh, I'd be really hey. impressed with me. <laughs> <laughs> no. So you saw the recession then. You were in before, you got in before the recession. <laughs> I did. You did. And dummy me was out showing property to a client and bought a house myself during that time, but in the peak season. <laughs> what we joke. never know. It took me 15 years to crawl out of that hole. Yeah. So. It happens. <sighs> We did the same. We did the same thing. My wife and I bought in Arizona during the recession, and then you're like five years later. You're like, oh, let's try to at least make our money back and move. But the only yeah. money I was making was selling property for two ninety five in my neighborhood, which I had like six on my house. Yeah, isn't you that know? crazy? Like fifteen years ago. I'm fifteen like, years ago, you see the real estate from then to now, and like, I'm selling houses for cheap, and that's all I could do was sell everyone else's house around me in my neighborhood yeah. for half the price of what I paid. Oh. And I'm still there. And you're still there. <laughs> it's okay. That's okay. Now it's like, it's okay. now you can yeah. sell. Now I'm dreaming of moving to La Cresta so I can live with the celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like that? That's my goal. That's, That's your my goal. dream. Okay. Yeah. If I could have the property taxes not follow me. I know. I don't think I have a choice there. How far are we talking from Marietta to La Cresta? Oh, from where I live? Yeah. It's 14 miles. It's oh, that's nothing. not bad. No. That's nothing. No. Yeah. Really on a good day. I'm not that familiar with North it's, County, so it's it's... When everybody says Riverside, and then you look at Riverside, that kind of all falls into Riverside. Like, it's a big Riverside County, and then until mm -hmm. the cities are spread out. Yeah, so from my house, from my front door to my clients, is about 20 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's not that bad. No, all day long. I well, live... where's Winchester from there, too? Because you lived in Winchester as well. Yeah, that's not too far from there. That's I was about far, four yeah. miles from where I live now. That's why I said you've stayed. Right. You, you know everything. Yeah, I live where I live because I'm centrally located between Marietta, La Cresta. Yeah. If I want to work in Temecula Wine Country, which is also an awesome place to work. Right. Or Winchester, I'm right there. And then the back way to Wine Country through Winchester, I'm right there. So I am, to me, I'm in a perfect place. You're in a perfect place. What is your ideal, what do you do? Like, tell me, since that's your, your farm and your area, your backyard, what is your typical 
time off from what you're, you know, real estate, what do you like to do? Oh, gosh. I don't take time off. I know you don't. I work seven days a week. I haven't. Uh, okay. My last Tell me day. where you like to go. Like for your, say, okay, so let's talk about, let's change it up. Your hustle. You wake up. Do you like, do you have a specific coffee place you like to go to? Do you have, I mean. Yeah, Donnie, my kitchen. You my kitchen's <laughs> cute. <laughs> I love it. Your kitchen. Do you go to any, any dinners that you love out there? Tamara brings me to get good coffee or she, she bring, or Tamara brings me coffee at my open house. It's amazing. And she brings me lunch. Oh my God. She's awesome. She's awesome. <laughs> well, tell, well, nobody can see Tamara. So please tell the audience who Tamara is. Tamara is one of my besties. New venture escrow. How long have you known her? What? A couple of years now? I don't know. Yeah. How long have we known each other? Isn't it maybe a couple of years? Huh? I know. I did all my research and I kept scrolling. I was like, oh, there's Tamara's on that one too. Now when so she's in that picture too, I'm like, oh, how long have these two known each other? Well, we're we're lucky to have Tamara because she she made that leap over to New Venture Escrow. Yeah. So she's here now, which she brought you. Which I just want to ask her, where have you been on my life? <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have like a date night. You don't have any like. Plug, uh, plug something like what do you my what last do you vacation was 2019 just before okay. covid we just happened to me and kelly took a trip to europe she's my business partner your business partner we went to europe just before covid october 2019 yeah. we went over to we london ireland and then we went to paris and that was about a three-week trip we had no idea that covid was already creeping in and then you didn't once, get stuck there then no no oh, no wow. no when we came back and we were at the end of october we came home 2019 and then just a couple of months later, COVID hit. Yeah. And um, we watched the stock market drop. It was exciting for me because yeah. I wasn't in the stock market. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> once it dropped, right. once the bottom fell out, I jumped in. Yeah. Of and course. held on. And I'm. <laughs> yeah. You're, we're all still. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's pretty understand. awesome. So I finally got some regains from the stock market that I lost during my home equity times. Yeah. So that was nice. Well, tell me about Kelly. When did you two meet and team up? Albertsons. I met her a no long time. No way. Time. You've known each other from Kelly then. and I have okay. been best friends there you for go. 22 years. Wow. Something, give or take, yeah. yeah. We, sh we met at Albertsons, yeah. So you both work at Albertsons. Mm -hmm. Did you take the leap first, or did you both do it together? Oh, no, I did first, first for okay. sure. Okay, yeah. and then you said, it's worth it. Come I think on. what, Kelly's been doing it for maybe four or five years now. Oh, okay. But let me tell you what, she was the piece I was missing. Right. Definitely. Yeah. Nice. She's everything and every energy that I'm, you know, yeah. lacking. And so that she's got half the brain. I've got the other half. That's what happens when you have just two great team members. You need that, oh, which yeah. we're going to talk about yeah. because just like me, you are a Virgo. So I'm going to read you what a Virgo is. And you're going to tell me, <laughs> is she the other half of this? <laughs> this is us. This is us right here. You're September 3rd. I'm not going to, you know, I never ask a woman their age. When is your birthday? 26th of August. Oh, okay. So we're, we're, we're pretty close. We're not like on the cusp. We're right there. Okay. So Virgos are diligent workers who excel at what they do. But <laughs> their lofty ambitions lead them to, too, to be too critical of others. Vir absolutely. 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 <laughs> I, I, well, I was just going to tell you, and my wife's going to hate me for this, but she can't vacuum the house <laughs> good enough. <laughs> good enough. That's a sad, you know what I'm saying? Like, but that's the Virgo and me going, she's, she, I got to step back and be like, okay, she's, Honey, she's trying. Anything, she, anything. I know. She's, enough. it's Sorry. never going to be good Sorry. enough. Like they can't clean. I just like, she, and then she goes, well, why do I do it? You're just going to do it for me afterwards because I know it's a problem. Because, because for us we're Virgos, too critical. it's been done twice. Yeah. Which is even better. Which is even better. <laughs> it's double. Okay. So you're, you're on the same path as me so far. Virgos are stubborn negotiators who utilize their sharp intellect to win debates and people's hearts and minds. God, that's so perfect. Isn't that perfect? Like I wrote it myself. Right? That is so good. Is that you to a T? Isn't that great? Like Virgos are good. I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm biased because I am one, but they are good people. I mean, we really want to please people, but we are. Loyal. We, Loyal. Loyal. Until you cross me. Yep. And then chances oh. are, if you cross me hard, you're probably not going to live long, but it's not my fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. I, I totally get that. <laughs> I have, you know, when you, especially when you get, and I never experienced that, that Virgo part of me until you have children. Like I had children and then like someone crosses that, you know what I'm saying? Because I can hold it for so long, but if something crosses them to what it makes, you know, my, my my daughter has uh, lung disease, and so we do it. We see a lot of doctors and stuff, and something happened with her medication, and my wife usually handles all that. She calls me crying, and that's it. 
that was the Virgo part of me that just was like, I'm sweet and you're going to love me. And, but then when that, I had to call that doctor, Mm -hmm. just they, those nurses won't look me in the eye anymore. Like it's just, but, but you've, that's, that's my family that you've kind of, so I I totally get that part of crossing you, but you're Mm -hmm. sweet on the, you, you, you win people's hearts. It's a, it's a good trait. Usually lifetime loyalty. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 22 years of friendship. Yeah. I mean, I have this, I have my best friend since we were in first grade together. Same mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. Okay. You beat me. Well, uh, yeah, uh, but Wait, I was not a competition. Wait, not allowed 40, to say. 41. Oh, we're allowed to say. Yeah. You can say, you want to say your age? No. You can say your age. No, no. you don't want to say, you look beautiful either way. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you, uh, so you have three kids, two twins. Twins, twins that are 20. I see a Boy, lot girl. of posts of your younger daughter. Avelina. Avelina. Okay. Yes. Conceived in Avalon. So. Oh. That's Catalina, L-A-N-A, and then Avalon, A-V-A. So. Oh, nice. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. She's, she's my angel. She's the baby. For sure. She's the baby. She keeps me together. For a child to know an adult and to be able to tell me like it is instantly, and I understand her and she understands me, Yeah. she has the mentality of an adult. How old is she? She's nine. <laughs> she's, I can ask that. Yeah, she's nine. <laughs> she's nine. <laughs> like crazy. They know so much more than us these days. Oh, no, she is so intuitive. Right? I can't even believe it. I feel like I was just watching Ninja Turtles and just being like, and like these kids these days are like talking on their phones and texting Mm -hmm. and being like, no, you do this. Oh, this is how you do math. And I'm like, nah, that's not how you do math. She won't even put up with me uh, being myself (laughs) in public. She's like, mom, stop being a Karen. Oh, she calls you a Karen? If I am rude to anyone, yeah, if I snap or lose my quote, mom, stop being a Karen. I'm like, or, or tell anybody about my, my famous new closings. Mom, stop flexing. What? What does that mean? Oh, see, we <laughs> Look have at my disco ball. That's hilarious. <laughs> see, we have a new person here. She's, I won't tell you her age either. She has some, 17. <laughs> she's not 17. <laughs> she's, but she's a baby compared to us. And she's, her language, I, I have to, I have to be like, excuse me, step back. Tell me what that means right now, because they do. They talk in a different language. You're like, uh, disco ball. So does Ke- um, Kelly, does she compliment your Virgo? That's what I was asking. Oh, That's what we were trying to get at. Yes. She's yeah. the, what is she? So, you know, what's a little, what, is it a GIF? You know, the, I was joking about the cat behind yes. the, the computer. Like, oh, she's all, before, like, we open a transaction. She's like already done with it. She's like, oh, the file's done. I'm like, we just opened like five minutes ago. <laughs> you need Cat- that. How did you do that? Yeah. Oh, it's done. I'm like, oh, okay. Thank goodness, because I was stressing on that. And yeah, she does everything that I don't get to, and I do everything that she doesn't get to. And right. we have these conversations, and she's like, oh, I did that. And then she's like, I need to do this. And I was like, yeah, no, I, I did that. It's like. When's her birthday? She's a Leo. So what is it? Okay. You, that's after hold us. On. That's after us. She ju- is she July? Ber- yeah. No. No, she's, she's after. Leo. She's a, uh, August. Oct- Oh, before us. Wait, it is, is she August. August it is. It is in August, yeah. I feel bad. Is she July 31st <laughs> we'll or this. August 1st? We'll cut this so she doesn't know. July 31st or August 1st. I'll look it up. So it's close. Either way, she's Leo. That's good. Yeah. I, uh, and, like, yeah, that's the same thing. I, my wife, if, if she handles all of that stuff, I can. Details. The perfect partnership for sure. For sure. For sure. I'm a very clean, like, I like everything, this and that. But as messy as she is, she does handle the stuff that needs to be. She's dialed in to a what lot of other sign? stuff. What is her sign? She's December 27th. So Capricorn? Oh, you're a Capricorn. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, Virgos get along good with Tauruses. Tauruses? I, I you're yet to, oh, that's what we wanted to plug. I have yet Taurus. to find a Taurus. We need a Taurus. Taurus, <laughs> 47, 46, 45. You're ready. That's what we're talking about, right? And cut. And cut. <laughs> we won't put that in. So we talked about what do you, okay, your hobbies. We talked about horses. Are you an equestrian? No, not necessarily. I mean, I love horses, but okay. God, if I had time for a hobby, what would it be? I, don't know. I feel like I read somewhere that you like wood, you like woodworking. I, if I could, if I if had you the could. time. Okay, so this is all imaginary. Okay. Like, if I so had my ideal time, goes along to with childhood memories. So, campfires is one of my favorite smells. And then sawdust. If yes. I was to be like, if I could do retired and have a lot of money, I would want to like make wood things. I'm yeah. not talking furniture. I don't want to glue. I just want to cut and have the sawdust. Yeah. And I don't know. You know what it is? It's hanging things. So just if you next time you're 
at a listing or something, you need to hang a some drill into the wall to a stud <laughs> and then pull the, the drill out and smell it. That's the that's what you're talking about. Oh that sawdust. God. It's a weird thing, oh. but I totally get you. Campfires, <laughs> I am a hundred percent with you. I love when my clothes smell like campfire for a week. Like a jacket, if I wore a jacket out to a fire, I'm like, but oh, man, I was just at also that. the mountains and the pine the pine tree smell in the morning yeah. when it's cool and crisp and oh, can't I beat love. that. Camping at the mountains, waking up. So the things I never get to do because it, I work so much. Well, you need a break. I'm you know, sometimes I, no, you going, need you. We need time to yourself as I'm well. Going to Yosemite. I've got a week in Yosemite coming up. Perfect. Yeah. That's that's My, it's, it's it's a balance. You need that balance in your life because sometimes you will. You I mean, as much as Virgos and we stress, I take a lot of stress mm-hmm, because I'm because I'm a we're people pleasers and so when something doesn't go. Not our way, the person that we're helping's way. <laughs> we we internalize it and we take it on. So we definitely have to step back sometimes and take time for ourselves, which is hard to do in this industry because momentum. You, momentum. You lose momentum. You don't want to lose. Yeah, you don't want to lose the momentum. And right now, the momentum is strong. Oh yeah, yeah. it's still going strong. So that's that's great. Now, when you two, so you and Kelly got together. Tell me about when the pandemic hit. Oh. What was the conversations there? Because everybody wow. was like, you can't go into a house. Did you have listings at the time? We had a lot of listings. Matter of fact, we had something like 13 to 16 escrows going in or around that time between the, the pandemic yeah. when it hit. So I was doing amazing. We couldn't do open houses, but we were showing like crazy. So, um, all, everything technology-wise, online or we How, were, were you show? No, we could still show. You could still show, okay. Property, uh, but you had to wear like, oh, we had a client. Oh my gosh, we <laughs> sold a property on uh, Corte Gerardo in La Cresta. We had to wear the gloves, the booties, yes, the mask. We were dripping sweat the whole time. Ugh. But we sold the property and we sold it for three hundred thousand more than the seller thought she was going to get. So that was amazing. Yeah. Did you have to clean up? You you had to clean after every. Person yes. show. So you would leave yes. the property. Clean but that's why and... we liked having two of us because yeah. I would be showing while Kelly would be wiping or she'd be showing while I'd be wiping. You, yeah, so. you played off each other really good. Right. That's perfect. But with the gloves on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I it was a weird I, time. But... I think my hands lost weight from the gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Just sweating constantly. Oh, God. Oh. Miserable, miserable. It was a weird time. It was a weird time because I know there's conversations. It was kind of like, we don't know what's going to happen in the next 30 days. And right. it ended up being like, oh, it all might only be 30 days, but it ended up being a year and a half, two, you know what I'm uh, saying? Yes. So it's, and it, but it ended up being a great. So through that time, yeah, you guys, I mean. And, just, the, and the stock market was skyrocketing. It was crazy. So it didn't matter what I did. Yeah. That was fun every day. I was yeah. like, oh, wow, I don't have to go to work today. I just made $10,000. <laughs> <laughs> I know you wake up and you're like, oh, okay. It's, yeah. it, What's the normal day for you? Tell me your hustle. Tell me when you when you wake up. Are you are you an early riser? I am. I'm usually up by six thirty in the morning, and I start off with my to do list. Okay. Which I end up emailing myself because Kelly can get into my email, and so she'll kind of <laughs> read it. And sometimes she'll be like, oh, "Okay, that's all done," but which is nice, you know. I usually have anywhere from twenty three to forty six things on my to do list. Yeah. So um, it's just a matter of having everything in order of what I need to get done. Um, and if I forget it, luckily Kelly knows what, you know, she's on top of everything. Right. So, you know, yeah, the hardest part is when you're working and in the field, um, keeping everybody happy, uh, when you have multiple sales, multiple listings, and you've got new clients coming in, it's hard to keep up with all the clients, you know, yeah. plus when we did these open houses at this beautiful home on Via Sevilla, we had something like, we did open houses, we had something like 43 showings a day and we collect all the data from all these yeah. people and try to reach out to them. And uh, it's really difficult, you know, reaching out, just her and I reaching out. Well, we do have an assistant, but still, we have two, we're, you know. It's just you two. There's three, well, there's three of us at this point. Oh, nice. Yeah, but one is an assistant, and then it's me and Kelly. Yeah. But there's never enough. I'm looking for a great assistant. We're still looking for somebody who's a little more tech savvy than I am. (laughs) And, you know, we talk about technology, but you do a great job. Because I don't do a great job. Thank you. So you do a great job. You. You post. You get out there. I mean, don't don't be, you know, if you watch Tony, follow Tony Hernandez, by the way. <laughs> He'll tell you. He's lately, I've been watching his stuff lately, and he he's spot on. You really can't, you just have to do it. If you want, you know, you just have to. I do a lot of my postings early in the morning. Yeah. Because you got to get up and go. I can't be on my phone. And if I'm 
in La Cresta, I don't have a lot of cell service, and I'm driving on a windy road. Yeah, I am not. No, you're not doing it. No, stuff. smart. So you, between <laughs> no cell service, so I have to post between six thirty and seven thirty in the morning. Yeah, and then luckily when we showed Alicia Keys, her husband was kind enough to post my property for me on his Instagram. So well, that's that was kind of nice. <laughs> yeah. So do you leave the tech stuff to? Do you have a professional that does all your? Um, just a little bit on some things, but okay. not a lot of it. I like to post myself. Yeah, I'm a Virgo. Yeah. I've got to figure you gotta it out myself. Take, yeah. If they don't word it right or they didn't do a hashtag right or they misspelled yeah. anything, I'm like, Ur. I won't say anything, but I'll, uh. Uh. <laughs> That's the funny part. We won't say miss- anything, <laughs> but we're, we do. We'll like, never we'll, forget. But we'll never forget and we'll make sure next time, hey, just by the way, just check that. Sp- you know, you'll add it to the next one. You'll make right. sure that they do mm-hmm. hear about it. Mm-hmm. I t- mm-hmm. Tony's notorious for misspelling stuff or, <laughs> you know, I'll give it to him, but you know, I tell him, I'm like, Hey, can you not yeah. you know, spell? So I ask you there, too, there yeah. is a spell check on everything. Oh, I love so. spell check. I know. Right. Yeah. There should be no spelling errors. English is my second language. Uh, in my okay. Defense. I, right. okay I'll, I'll give you that, but, okay. but you can only use that for some of you. Can we hear, so, can we hear some of the sexy voice? <laughs> yeah. Give us a sexy Spanish voice. Hola. Me llamo Antonio. <laughs> oh my god wait are right? you married uh, yeah, yeah right. oh <laughs> man I just, yeah. just kidding are you a Taurus yeah. I'm a Capricorn <laughs> oh uh, darn it I'm married to a white girl so uh, yeah. so over the years how many trans I, I have the number here I don't know if it's right because I've seen two different numbers have you closed over 200 transactions it's probably a lot more than that you when are, I started there was a lot of things that you didn't have to close it out under that same number. Okay. And I did a lot of new construction, so I probably closed about, I don't know, probably 100 new construction. And back in the day, new construction was not in the MLS. Oh, okay. So I was... So that number is... I was the number one new construction sales girl for like four years in a row. Yeah. So, and you can't find, you can't track those sales. They were never on the MLS. And then back in the day, some of the properties I've closed were not under me. They would always close it out under uh, out-of-area agent. I'm like, they're too lazy yeah. You know, 15, 16, 17 years ago to actually look it up and put us in. Yeah. And our brokers, for some reason, years ago, didn't track that information um, in the MLS. We didn't need the closed MLS sheet. So now we do. So now you can track the current stuff. But, yeah, so. So is that you tracking it then, or is that? That is uh, probably, that... I'm probably at about 400 closed transactions. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. Yeah. That's 400 people, well, give or take, because people have probably came back to you every once yeah, in a while yeah. there over a couple of years or so. But that's, I mean, does now customer service uh, again, my dad's not a Virgo, but he was always in customer service and always, you know, that time frame when we, our generation, I'm saying mm-hmm. it was embedded in you. You know, you always looked somebody in the eye and you said, mm-hmm. hello, you always shook their hand. You walked in the person's house who owned it. You went and said hello to the, the you know, the mom and dad. Uh, your friend's house. You just, he, I remember one time he told my friend, he told me to go tell my friend. He goes, Hey, Michael, I was telling you that I grew up with someone. He's like, go tell Michael to say hi to me. This is my house. He comes and says hi to me. Exactly. Don't you miss that? Yeah. I, I demand and respect. I, yes. That's the people that I, I miss that era for sure. And, and I, and, and I still try to embed it into my kids and say, Hey, go say, you know, you don't walk into somebody's house and not respect their house and say it, you know, you, you have to, yeah. it, it's, it's just a, Different time. I have no idea where I was going in this conversation, by the way, but I went on. Well, that's because— I know. Yeah, that's because you're Virgo, and I you know am. that I have a new venture right now, and it is has a lot to do with the old-fashioned respects and courtesies yeah. that we've lost nowadays. So I have kind of a group I'm starting, and it has a lot to do with bringing back uh, some old-fashioned integrity yeah. in our children. Right. Well, it was with the whole transaction thing. Like there's so many, you know, transactions, how many people you worked with customer service is what I was trying to get right. at. There's a customer service is there. So to, to have that many closings just goes to show you how amazing you are. Thank that you. people, no, it's true that people come back to you. I mean, yeah. it's you're a lot gonna, of repeat clients, a lot of repeat sure. clients. That's, that's, yeah. I mean, that's what you want. That's what, yeah, that's amazing. And you'll see because the real estate is changing now. Do you, do you kind of see where it's heading? Do you know? Will you give us a little insight on what you think is going to happen? Well, my personal business, uh, I will always thrive. Okay. I've always been that way. Um, if there's, you know, I mean, the properties are always going to sell. Right. Um, so I'm sure if the market does tend to slow down, obviously with the rate increases, um, some agents may get out of the business. That's perfectly fine with me. <laughs> For all of us. <laughs> yeah. No, that's yeah. and that's what I was going at. The people who have who've 
have their clients, the great customer service yeah. they're getting, the people that have been in the longest, it, you're going to see all those people that just was like, oh, the pandemic, oh, we can sell a house right. to a year and make what? And do it. I have had a client do that three and four times. Like, oh, we just keep making money. Yeah. And then I work with clients that I know that they will only work with me and they do return to me. I love it. I love it. And you just know, you just have, I have certain connections with people and I did, they won't work with anyone else. Yeah. That's special. I, Not everybody has it. And that's, and that goes from also your customer service at Albertsons for so long. I mean, you, yeah. you, you have to, I think so. That put went a from, smile on that one from many relationships. You have to deal with 400 people in a day. Yes. And now I just know meeting people and I'm, it's helped, you know, me too, as far as how we treat people and growing yeah. relationships, I think is pretty awesome because I really tend to have this connection with people. Yeah. Well, that's perfect. And that's why, you know, it's special because Tamara's new to our team. She's very special. And she invited you to the show, which she, I mean, she knew you were going to be a great fit. And I, and I'm very lucky again to have you here today. Thank you. I like to go. So we can also, we're not going to talk about technology, your social media. So you do your own stuff. We've kind of talked about it a little bit. I do bit a lot of my own stuff. I do have some things to hire out, and I do have some automation as well. Yeah. Very little. Very little. Do you think it's all going that way? My, I'm investing into my technology at this point. So we're having a new website built, um, and I picked Agent Image. Okay. Because they did do, you know, Selling Sunset, and yeah. they did the Oppenheim Group. So I did pick Agent Image, and they're working on my website right now. It's beautiful. That's going to be amazing. And then they're going to have, obviously, the search engine optimization, and it's very expensive to have that every month. But it's going that direction, don't you think? Like, but that's what you have to have. It costs me more money for technology, yeah. and I'm willing to pay. <laughs> yeah. Leave the professionals to do their thing. Absolutely. And, it, and you do your thing, which you're great at. So it's, I get it. it technology, it's, we were, we were talking about this the other day, is we grew up on no phones to to the brick, mm-hmm. right? Remember? I the do. Say by the bell brick. I do. And then you went from flip phones to, I called it the other day, uh, blueberry, but it was a blackberry. <laughs> <laughs> loved them. Uh, loved loved them. them. And you didn't want to do anything other than you have oh. your blackberry. And then the, I miss the blackberry. You know, you could call and dial and do everything with one one finger. Yes. There you was could this, drive. Yeah. And you could hit the center button or you could hit the call button or you could dial because it had the dial pad. Well, and you felt that you actually hit right. the button. And yeah. then... And yeah. then we have overpopulation problems, so they don't want a lot of people surviving. So now they have you have to hold the phone with one hand and touch it with another. So now there's no way for you to hold the steering wheel. Yeah. Right. Well, that's why they're it's population uh, control. It's population, but that's why they're also coming out with smart cars. So then you can sit there in your <laughs> Tesla and not look at anything. You can fall asleep in your Tesla. And oh, we've seen phone. it. We've seen I, it. I know. Yeah. Oh, it's sad. But instead of electric cars, I did invest in oil stock, and that's been doing wonders for me. I'm the only one at the pump right now happy to see the gas prices go up. Yeah, you're like dan- you're doing like a little dance out there. You're like, yeah. D- d- hey, Philip, yeah. hey, you guys can put a little extra in there. Right. No, yeah, I'm yeah, like yeah, six seventy nine a gallon. <laughs> yes. Everybody else As is just I'm like buying SUVs. mean face. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh, that's funny. But technology is where it's at. Like I was getting to that, is now we're like even grandmas. We we were so hesitant to get the iPhone because we're like, oh, Blackberries. And then the iPhone came out. And even then, it was so, the transition was tough, but everybody's done it. Even now, like, grandmas and grandpas are FaceTiming their grandkids. And, you know, it's uh-huh. it's it's getting to where it's easier and easier and easier. That's where it's headed. So I love that you're doing your own <laughs> website. It's going to be all web-based. I mean, even our, we got a company that's a tech company. So we're trying okay. to make it easier for you guys as our clients. So I love I mean, that. Good. I love that. If you're tech savvy, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting We hire the tech savvy people. <laughs> I just, I just ask the questions. I don't do much. <laughs> oh, you're like me then. Yeah. Yeah. We just, yeah. We're, just, we're the Virgos. Rely on someone else. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I'm going to, we're going to finish up here, but I'm going to ask you some fun stuff. We'll finish with, uh, finish the sentence. Okay. These are fun. I finish the sentence. Are you ready? I can't believe I actually blank when I was younger. When I was younger. I can't believe I actually blank when I was younger. Well, okay. Tamara, this one's yours. Uh, Uh Uh-huh. What did you do? I was a bad child. You know, uh, me too. (laughs) I could answer that Not a bad child, but but I would say for me it would be drunk driving. that's rebellious. Drunk driving, yes, but I could reword that. Yes. I wasn't a bad job. I was very independent. At 14 years old, I was so independent. I would come home a week later. 
What? My mom didn't like it, but I was so independent. Wow. A week later, though, is at wow. 14. Yeah. yeah. Okay, was, so you can't believe you actually could stay out a full week. I used week. to be bad. Now I consider it very independent. But can, wow. Okay, but, but can you imagine your little uh, no. nine-year-old uh, no. uh, leaving you for a week and no. coming back? Even though she probably could because she's that smart, but no. That's, what, that's, that's a great answer to that, that oh. you would leave mm. for a week. I was late. I was at home at 10 p.m. and I was in trouble. Oh, I was Instantly, no. my dad waited for me sitting in a chair like this in the dark yeah. and I felt so bad. I was like, yeah. oh, I no won't do that again. No one said I wasn't in trouble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was just too independent You're to too care. You're too Okay. And then there, be, there came the day. That's and I don't want spirit. children to watch this, but there came the day no that my stepdad would get, yeah. get mad at me. He'd stay up till 2 a.m. and I'd come in and one time I confronted him. And he said, what are you going to do? Are you going to hit me? Hey. He was mean. Yeah. He was mean. Hey, you, wow, that's a Virgo. Not all, not all the time, but then you realize, and I think a lot of kids do know nowadays. Yeah. What are you going to do? I know. It's. Uh, How the hell a, do you punish your child? Yep. What are you going to do? I have an 11 year old that me. looks at I'm me like, like God, that. God, you're right. <laughs> yeah. They know. They know. It's an, I have an 11 year old that gives me sass, and I'm just like, ah, oh. but then, you know, my dad comes out on me, and I'm just like, are you looking at me? Like, you know, you're trying not to because you can't. And I don't the only know. way to discipline nowadays is to take, take away, away the technology. The, the technology, which we can't get away from. <laughs> I know. I know. That's crazy. I know. Uh, yeah. But we can't live without it. My parents were very strict. We can't have this show without it. You know? Yeah. Right. My yeah. parents were very strict. Yeah. Mostly my mom. Tell us. Tell us. We're tell here. us. Yeah. Tell us the strength. Here? What are you on here? What? I no, we don't want to hear what you were. Yeah, nine. <laughs> what you were yeah. She was very strict at school, though. I was very rebellious. Like I used to get a lot in trouble, but yeah. when it came to grades, I would just nail it. Like, and then like leave me alone. Oh, just good for stuff. you. Yeah, yeah. but good you did you. it out of spite almost. Yeah, right. Like you I were just like, did it because I was afraid of my mom. Yeah. Honestly. Oh <laughs> God, there's, it's really now difficult does, to make children afraid of you. Yeah, well, does yeah. fear and respect come in the same hand? Like, oh, I respect her for sure. Yeah. Oh. But I was okay. a little bit afraid. But too. you afraid? Yeah. You're, yeah. But you respect her enough to. I, same with my dad. Like I respect well, the hell. I, out of I respected her more because a lot of a lot of times I didn't do things out of respect rather than fear. Fear. But also, if I did something, I was like, oh shit, I'm scared. Now. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I know what's gonna happen. You well, we used to be able to punish our kids. Well, you couldn't get close enough to the wall. Oh. I remember sliding the little sl wall slide. I remember to get the to belt your room. when I was. They go to your room. I remember you the belt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, you had a pat. You had to run past them. But I might have had the belt once. I probably only needed it once. Yeah. But I don't think my nine-year-old's ever even seen a belt. No, they're spoiled. They don't know. Right. They don't know. They don't know. <laughs> Do you know, Rich? You, yeah, you, I know that all the time. I would if I did something bad, I'm stuck in my butt and then walking. Oh, uh, right. so you still know? So you're still in that generation? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, I thought the belt was extinct. No. <laughs> I think it's the snap. If you just snap the belt yes. once. No, no. That's, that's all you got to do. The look. The look. The look was the a hand. killer, man. The look. <laughs> I will just say. The, the hands <laughs> going down to the belt. Oh, okay. I will be doing something and, and yeah. I just look. I just felt my mom or my dad looking at me. And I would just look at them and just the look. Like I would oh, just man. stop. Whatever. I didn't, yeah. I didn't even know what I was getting in trouble Your for. Your wife appreciates all of that now. Yeah. Yeah. For now sure. she gives you the look. Now yeah. she gives me the look. <laughs> like, okay, well, what am I doing now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, there's so many memes with that. I know. <laughs> okay, next question. Next, finish the sentence. I know this is weird, but I really like to. I know this is weird, but I really like to. Take a day off. <laughs> oh, that's not weird. That should be normal for oh, you. I, really like to. I know. What do you? What's your guilty pleasure? Oh. My daughter loves all of those videos on TikTok, and she says they're so soothing. And I'll, oh, the sound ones. I'll be like, get off of that. And she's like, but mom, look, SMR. it's so. SMR. And I'm like, oh, it is so. What is, she, what is the word that she says? It's so satisfying. Satisfying. I'm like, oh, it is. Let me see that TikTok video. <laughs> so that's your guilty pleasure is just kind of like watching over and over. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Oh, yeah, like yeah. someone, I know somebody that used to uh, watch a lot of like popping like that. I love that. Oh, the, the pimple the, poppers. Oh. Yeah. Popping? I, the pimple poppers. Isn't that like oh. like the pimple. gross stuff? That okay, they, like, yeah, but I thought you meant the plastic thing that, that, that comes I, in I the mean, box. I meant oh, that. Oh, okay. The plastic okay. thing. Okay. I, went on to I love those. <laughs> and you can't stop till every last yeah. one is popped. Okay, yeah. Oh, it's so satisfying. Or when they cut something. 
Yes, the <laughs> soothing nice. or just something, yeah. just the perfect like, yeah, yeah. Those that's meditation it. ones. I'm the pimple popper guy. That's what's that's my weird that's like gross. like I. Yeah. You know, you watch that sis. You do it or you watch it? I no, I watch it. Like it's like it's uh, it's so gross, gross. And I'm like, oh. and when did anyone ever but decide that filming that stuff was cool? I know, I don't know. That's wow. what I'm, they have three million followers. <laughs> they so they so like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, I should so stop following watching. Pimples. Well, it's like a an ingrown hair. You're like, oh my god, how long is that hair? And you keep <laughs> watching, and then you're like, I, you're like, this is the last video I'm watching, oh and then you go. Okay, this is the last video right, I'm watching. Right. Yeah, no. It, it's a dark <laughs> hole that you can get into. So that's the weirdness. Okay. <laughs> I laugh when... When you say something funny. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's good. She, I, uh, she has one of the best laughs, too. She Tomorrow does. Tomorrow Tomorrow like, she laughs at everything. That's why you got to keep her around. Look at... I didn't even say anything funny. She's well, laughing. She's genuine. She's genuine. She's genuine. Do, do you... She's sweetheart. She do is. you laugh in, like, inappropriate times? You know what? I think so. Sometimes I have the nervous. My son does the same thing. If he's in trouble and really feels guilty, he'll bust up laughing. And I'm like, why are you? I don't know. I can't help it. I think I felt that pressure before. Really? And you're just like, or, or, or. I know. Kelly and I are walking with a client. And it'll be something random. And I'll say something. And, and she'll, like, not want me to say it. And I'll say it. And she'll know what I'm meaning. No one else knows what I'm meaning. And she'll yeah. bust up laughing. And she's like, I tried to hold it. I just, you can't say that <laughs> stuff. I, I wish I could give you an example. but there Like you're sarcastic, but like a straight face sarcastic. Like that somebody humor. will say the same thing on a property. They'll make the same derogatory comment yeah. every time, 30 times. A new person walks into the property and makes the same derogatory comment. And I go, oh. I never thought of that. Yeah. And she'll bust up laughing. I'm like, you know, I can be sarcastic. And, you can and, be sarcastic, and, and but like a straight, yeah. I, yes. That's our that's our humor, though. That's what we <laughs> like to do. We like to be soup. That's what my wife's like, are you serious now? Or are you being sarcastic? I'm like, you can, t I'm sarcastic 90% of the time. Right. When you go to get any kind of food and they say, is this for here to go? And you go, okay. Yeah. <laughs> is this for here to go? Yes. No, is this for here to go? <laughs> Funny. Funny. I like to irritate people. Yeah, see? <laughs> I get a kick out of it. Probably no one else Nobody does. Nobody else does. And they don't understand it. I, but great. I'm like, oh, that's funny to me. She's like, no, that does not make sense to me. Okay. We have our own sense of humor. We have our own sense of humor. It's, our, it's, yeah, our own dialogue. Okay. I would die without. Mm. Oh, gosh. How to answer the question? It could be caffeine. I, I'm trying to can, not do caffeine. I've been doing better without caffeine. So you could do it without I stopped time. coffee for 12 days. I had so much energy. Okay, repeat the question. I could die with... I would die without... Repeat the question nine times. I would die with... <laughs> <laughs> and I would, too. Oh! How would about... Um, Tony? <laughs> a good night's sleep. You you have... So what time do you go to bed? Oh, gosh. Is this like... No, I go to sleep. I just... I would die without... Laughter. Yes, I die without laughter. You would die without there you laughter. Go. What about you, Levi? I would die without. See, it's a hard one. That is a tough Don't one. Don't ask the hard one. <laughs> Next question. I would die without Seinfeld. I don't oh, know. What? I know. I love you mean Seinfeld. Without your Seinfeld t shirt. Like the office. <laughs> Top Gun? Like, I love. What? Yeah, I would die without Top Gun. <laughs> oh, no. Are you a no, I know. If we were, if we were honestly being serious, I would die without my, my children. Like, they're. Oh, yeah. I, I yeah, see the photos. Yeah. You can't That's just a, say yeah. the word die with your children in the same sentence. So right. I won't oh, answer sorry. it that yeah, way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I, yeah. yeah. But those, the, those two. Something that is not as tragic. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking. We're talking. <laughs> We're talking dark. about material things. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I would die without golf. Cleaning Seriously. equipment. See? I got into golf and now I'm like, golf. I would die without golf. Cleaning Tomorrow equipment. Knows. And I'm so upset I'm missing a golf tournament next week. Cleaning equipment. Cleaning equipment. Oh, I would die without Lysol. <laughs> oh, my God. I was going to say Clorox I would, cleaning yes, wipes. I would <laughs> die without Lysol. And why is a Clorox cleaning wipe better than paper towels? I don't know. Because I can't pull, spray bleach and then paper towel. No, I have to have the wipes. because you the paper towel, and what happens? All the floaties go in the yep. air, and that's leading nope. to the problem that you're trying to clean. You hit. All the dust. <laughs> <laughs> that's my thing. I would die without that. Like, I have an Now you know you don't you like paper towels. Twins, no. I love yeah. them, though. Yeah. I would die without paper towels. That's the answer. I oh, love paper pa towels. No, your paper towels, too. And I, I know have it, to get them a little bit damp yeah. so that the floaties don't go. So it doesn't go. But then Clorox, I don't care what they cost. I have to have the wet. The wet wipes. Because the wet won't float in the air. You guys 
my swapped. for sure. And my hands, I kid you not, when I clean my house, my hand will be just red because the chemicals are definitely not good. Or do you wash for your all hands. the time? Wash all the your hands. Oh my wash goodness. Your hands. Wash your hands. My hands are actually nice oh. right now because I asked Rachel, I was like, hey, I need lotion. I brought lotion in today, but they're dry all the time. Especially during flu season. I wash my hands all mm -hmm. the time. I shake somebody's hand, I go wash my hands. Do you have a second fridge in the garage? I do. <laughs> you have to open that garage door to get to it. Then you gotta wash the hands. You gotta wash the hands. Every single time. I wash oh. my hands to I know my hands are clean, but like to empty my dishwasher that's clean, I wash my hands to do that. And if I do something in between there because sometimes oh. something happens, I wash my hands again. Maybe so, I need to marry a Virgo. COVID so again. all my hand <laughs> So my I, I did, okay. but it took me the longest. That's my whole family got COVID yeah. in January. I survived that. I just recently got it about uh, two weeks ago. and Wow, I thought it was over. I thought it was Wait, over Wait, what too. are we talking it's about? COVID. I've never heard of it. I know. <laughs> erase it, please. Right? I know. No, don't erase it. Not for this industry. Bring it no. back one more time. Oh, we did amazing. I know. I, we did amazing. I know. It's crazy. It's, sudden, it's hard, the ups and downs, you're like. Everybody mm. needed space, and guess what? I yeah. was selling the houses that had space. It's because land. you realized you couldn't <laughs> live yeah. with in such a small home and work and, and with your kids yeah. and everything, you're like, okay. Or family members, yeah. Yeah. all of them the living together. It was the greatest thing since sliced bread. Right. Uh, after three okay. months, minus I think the I agree the house. Minus the deaths, that was horrible. Yes. My dad passed away from COVID oh. two days before Christmas, 2020. He had underlying conditions. Okay. Of yeah. course, they had to put that on his death certificate because we all know they got they more money. They have to. They got more money. Yeah. Yeah. We've but. had, yeah. Uh, but you know, also, too, I, so again, going back, I had COVID about two weeks ago, first time. Didn't know it was, it was just like this cold. You avoided it this long? This long. And we went to a family party. Us Virgos. We wow. went to, I know, I was so clean. And I went to a family <laughs> party. <laughs> went to a family party. <laughs> and it was, it was devastating. Went to a family party in Arizona. Of course, Arizona. Come on, you guys. Arizona. I got it there at a family <laughs> a party, minute. 110 people. I thought they said COVID couldn't live in the heat. Oh, that was a lie. That's and a lie. that's and a lie. And it was hot there. Yeah. And like 30 people got it. And I was I was trying to get through work and my brother-in-law texted a whole group text and sent the positive test. And I was like, no. Oh. And I went and took a test and I got it. And my wife shut the door on me and said, oh. reverse quarantine so they could all, because they already got it. Four days in, I needed to buy a new mattress for that guest room, so I did. But five to six days, it's the illness, yeah, it sucks, but not being able to hug mm -hmm. people. And just like newborn babies, when they're preemies and stuff like that, they need that touch yes. with your, you know, that heals. That's, I think that goes down to a lot of some of the deaths. Like being alone in the hospital by yeah. yourself. My not, dad was alone. Yeah. Just they not, wouldn't let us see him for just 14 not, days. Isn't that like just the hugs and the care and you couldn't. I, I felt it after eight and I could still mm -hmm. like see them. But, you know, I'm like, I can't hug my, my my little boy Van. He's like running up to me. He's like, are you better now? Can I hug you? And I'm like, no, oh, like just wait. It's yes. like, so that yeah. I, I think I that has that. a lot to do. 10 it's days tough. I couldn't. Touch. Nobody came in my room. Yeah, my daughter can't. was it's, away. I think that was. It was a the lot. worst sickness illness I've ever had. And you know yeah. what? You and I were so stubborn. Nothing can bring us down, and that right. brought me down. Yeah. Oh, it was horrible. Just so tired, and yeah. yeah. I. But it, it, it did it take you down the way? You were sick, sick, right? Oh, you heard me. I was. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, because I, I texted you and like, are you okay, man? <laughs> <laughs> well, you get up to do something and then you're yeah. like, oh, it's time for now. When I got to do it. <laughs> Did you have the middle of the night where your heart was like the palpitations and you're just like, what? Why? Why is my heart beating so fast? It's been doing this for two days. No, I'm a friend. Yeah. Sorry. It's just so crazy how <laughs> how it hits different, down, so. right? Because when I got it, yeah, it was last year, like in the summer. Yeah, I just felt tired for like a day. No, no. Like me. just like really tired out of an hour. A I day, tested positive. Yeah. Oh. And then I, and then next day I was like, oh, okay. I'm, He's got some good genes. Yeah, he does. Gym. And my daughter was or the same. The my girl though, my daughter was the same. She was just like, I feel tired, daddy, blah, blah, blah. And then she like was fine. But my wife, mm -hmm. she had to quarantine. I'll tell you, I've been sicker oh. like with mucus and stuff like that. I've been definitely sicker than what I have. But again, nothing compares to how just beat down and tired you are. Long. Mm -hmm. Long. And I get recovery. you get up and do one thing, and I'm like, oh man, I got a headache now. And you're like, okay. Oh, go what about what about you think you're better? Yeah. For three days, oh, and then you get and sick then again. You go back. You go what? backwards. What the heck? I don't know what that means. Feeling better, and then you're not. And you're, oh, I went through that for three weeks, and then three weeks after that, I was tired, and then three months after that, I was like, weird. Yeah. I had weird. My heart was having weird heart palpitations. For, really? I want to say like three months. 
Dang. Yeah, I felt yeah. like something was running through my veins, although I could say that I could feel it. I was like, this is, yeah. Well, co- in my opinion, yeah. a man made because I could feel it. It felt different. Yeah. I was like, yeah. something is well, COVID, not right. If you get COVID, um, you're hot, you have more tendencies to have a heart attack. Just, just having COVID. Not, not the I vaccine, like yeah, just yeah. COVID. Yeah, I believe it. Well, we're going to change gears now because that was yeah. super depressing. But <laughs> <laughs> we'll but change it. Relevant. Week, but relevant because it, we're living in it still. Yeah. I'm telling you, I just got it two weeks ago. It's still. And it's, now they've got the monkey pox. The oh, monkey really? pox. Uh, what yeah. is that? I had a dream. My wife had it and it was just blump. Like it was like a uh, chicken pox, but huge. All, a dream? It was weird. A dream. Like the it's next It's a COVID day. dream. Did it you was, have those? Yeah. I did. But uh, that, 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 one, that one's not going to stick because that one is. It's not as contagious. Like, well, it's not in contagious. the air. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's actually like a touch. touch. Yeah. 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 It's the outbreak. Unless the you're outbreak. out there touching like just people. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's switch gears here and we'll right. change yes, it up. Here. I love it when, so then we're going to change it. I love it when. More positive. COVID's over. And when monkey pox <laughs> okay. are over. When monkey pox are. There you go. I love it when you sell a four point. Six million dollar home. I love it when yeah. a seller seeks me out and says, I want you to list my home. Isn't that amazing? And you're not up against any other agent because yeah. they just know your reputation. Yeah. It's nice when a seller comes directly to you. So I love it when a seller is not looking to interview seven agents, but just says, I want you. Yes. That's nice. amazing. That's my that, favorite. That's reputation. What that's about great. you, Levi? That's re- I love it when... My house is cleaned. <laughs> <laughs> when Lysol oh, wipes yeah. were back on the shelves. I ain't Hold going on. backwards, but yes, I know. So let me ask the Virgo question. Yeah. Do you like cleaning or do you like it clean? What should you prefer? Ooh. Ooh, that's a good question. I think I like cleaning. You do? Oh, I like cleaning. I like it clean, but I don't necessarily like to clean. No. I will clean because And I, I think to. my wife's like always, she always says like, we have people coming over and it, it doesn't matter who you are if you're coming over for the first time or the 30th time, I will make sure my house is clean for you. Gosh. It's a weird feeling. Yes. But my wife's like, oh, you love to clean. And now I'm admitting it. I I always tell her, no, I don't. No, I don't. Like, I want her to help me. <laughs> but I do enjoy when it's done. You're like... It's Stress. like cutting it's like cutting a lawn. So you do love It's like clean, cutting a lawn. Like you might not it. like cutting the lawn, but my man, stress fe- free When you see that lawn life, cut. My stress free feeling is walking in the door to a clean house. It's just, I can focus on anything and everything else. Yeah. When I have a clean house. For sure. Yeah, I'll have somebody clean. I'm just saying though, <laughs> any housekeeper still can't clean as nice as me. <laughs> I, know. I clean before they come yeah. over, so that's yeah. I, I used to do the same thing. Yeah, I used to that's do the same crazy. thing. My yeah. dad's the same way, so he had to actually let go. She's like, my mom's like, why are we inviting her to come over and clean when you clean the house before she comes <laughs> over? We got problems. Well, I do need a new cleaner for sure. I'm yeah. looking for someone. I'm looking for a personal organizer. Look in this an camera and ask. And yes. I need a house cleaner that can actually clean. I don't care if they take their time doing it. I yeah. want it done right rather than quick. But, oh, yeah, I'm still looking. And so I, I need someone I can trust. It's hard for trust. us. There you go. You need someone who can trust. Yeah. Yes. Good. I had the best cleaner, but. Oh, well. we'll find it. We'll she find moved on. One. She moved out of the area. We're looking for Tauruses and housekeepers. So, please. <laughs> All in one. Oh, a housekeeper. All in one. Housekeeper that's a Taurus. Yeah. I don't know. A, a, house a housekeeper that's a Taurus that is male. That we, <laughs> Wait a minute. We might need a Virgo house cleaner. Oh, we, oh, we, need oh, we do need a Virgo house cleaner. So, m- two different people we're hiring right Otherwise, now. Otherwise, we're walking behind him going, you should have done yeah. it this way. <laughs> <laughs> right? You didn't hit that spot right there. Yes. Oh, I have the same way. Okay. Don't wipe from the left to the right. <laughs> left, to the, left to right, right to left. No. Yeah. Wax on. It's, uh, wax on. Wax off. <laughs> you don't know that over there. Mr. Miyagi. Yeah, yeah she, does. No, she, she does. does. She knows, she knows, that. She knows the, you know that, the Cobra right? Kai one now. <laughs> the new series. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, that's, okay. that's, that's in pop culture. That she is knows pop that. culture. Yeah. The secret to a happy life is to. Oh, a happy life. Let me see. I think dreams are only fulfilled if you have the energy to fulfill them. So with a happy life, you have to have dreams and the energy. That's a good one. Eat without eating. Eat without getting fat, maybe. Eat oh with. no! Well, well, happy life, happy children. I guess would be a happy life for yeah. me. That's yeah. To see them exactly. Yeah. It definitely changes. You know, you, you sometimes this question, if you asked it twenty years ago, pre kids, compared to now, it, it definitely wow. changes. You know, yeah. Like the kids. It used to be the American dream was a happy life, and yeah. now everyone can obtain the American dream. But what what's next? Yeah, your kids. Yeah, that's all you can hope for. Right. I mean, we we talk about 
everything and they talk about everything in school now. It's and so you just hope. You know, depression is such a big talk right now. So uh, it's like, just be genuine. That like wasn't I, even a subject before depression. What was that? What is that? Right? That's cool. I was like you didn't know that until nowadays. Of it. Yeah, people are very we're aware. putting it in your head. We're putting it in your head. You're depressed. Yeah, you're depressed. Are you depressed? Yeah. Oh, maybe I am depressed. No, Nobody like, ever asked me that when I was younger. Ever. Yeah, never. And I don't remember never. ever being depressed. No. Know what no, we were out in the hills <laughs> no. playing, hitting hammers, and my daughter. I was like, she's like, what's that, mom? We're hiking. Honey, that's a stink bug. You should get out in the hills more often. Yeah. You should walk. You should get outdoors and get yeah. off the TikTok. Come home <laughs> just before dark. That's all that was out there. I mean, I used yeah. to ride my bike oh, in the oh, sketchiest yes. places, and I live where rattlesnakes were, and there was nothing even said about dangers or anything. Like, no. uh, hey, a stranger might pick you up <laughs> off the street. It was just get home before dark, get home before dinner, get home before your dad does right. so we can sit down to have dinner. True. That's yes. what it was. There was no human trafficking crap going on. I know. On. It's pretty I scary. Know. You got to watch your kid every second. Yeah. And I will cause a scene yeah. if my daughter is out of my view. Yep. I, oh, I, will raise I love my this voice. girl. This is me. My pe Everybody I will wonders raise my why. Voice. I was, so Christmas time, I was at the Dell. We had friends there. And uh, you know what bothers me is other parents. That's a <laughs> <laughs> sometimes other that parents. That aren't watching their kids? Who are watching, they're having a good time. And I wish, uh, you know, and you look at them and you go, oh man, I wish I could actually feel that. But for us, I'm like, my kid ran off with their kids. Yeah. And I looked around and I'm like, where where's, where's my son? Where's my son? And they go, oh, I think that all the kids went over there oh, somewhere. You think? And it's at the Dell Christmas time, so it's packed. Oh. I got up from my chair. I walked over, found him. I grabbed him by the arm. I'm, I'm like, kind of, I'm, I'm scolding him out in public. Like, you don't walk away without telling me. Da, 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 da. We walk oh, back. Oh, you're the mean parent. Oh, I, I and again, Dad, packed. You're embarrassing me. Don't care. I, I, at this point, I don't care because I'm thinking of. All yeah. the things. I'd rather that wrong. happen than I never see you again. Thank you. So we sit down yeah. and he's crying at the table and I'm just, I go back to like my beer and talking to them and he's sitting right behind me crying and one of the moms is like, is he okay? Well, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> like, don't worry about him. Dude, yeah. Dad he, was not okay. Now yeah, dad's fine. Yeah, yeah. No, no, we're good now. We're good <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, it, but it's funny because it has to happen from somebody has to do it and that's me that all the kids after that came up to me and was like, Mr. Levi, Mr. Levi, can we take Van to go? We're just going to go right over here. And I was like, thank you for asking. Yes, you can go yep. over there. And, yep. But Yeah, I think I'm the same way. But that's a, that's a different, yeah. I mean. One, one time my daughter got lost here in this building. Yeah. Dude, I got so, I've never been so scared in my life. I did get upset with her. It's a, yeah. I feel bad afterwards because I was very upset. Like, don't leave my side because she took the elevator and come down. Have, yeah, I was they really have scared. No idea what they're up against. Do you, in the did world you ever, because of Virgo, did you ever scare your child? Like, say you went to a supermarket and they're oblivious to everything, and then just kind of walk around the corner and stand <laughs> there and be like, just see what they do. Like, let them panic for a second to really get that fear in them. But watching them, I've done that to my daughter multiple times. Like in Home Depot, I'm like, okay, you're not paying attention right? to where your right? surroundings are, so I'm gonna yeah. give you a little, a little Listen. taste of your medicine. You kind of got. Yeah, I'm. I think I'm like a little bit like that too. Yeah, you got to kind of let a. My wife's not <laughs> though. But when you don't see them. My wife's not like that. They're not like that. She, Yeah, she's more soft, I think. Wow. Yeah. We're, we're the same. Okay, last question before we finish up this. I love this. This is great. The advice I would give a new agent. No fear. No fear. Um, call me. <laughs> great advice. Great advice. Yeah. I mean, That's great advice. Yeah. 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 Uh, Take the leap. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, but you, but also don't do it just, you know, a lot of people just do it because, oh, my friend's selling a house, so I'll get my license. If you really want to be in this business, do what you do. You take the leap. It's scary, but yeah. you have to dedicate your time and you can oh, be successful. You have to at be it. responsible. You have to follow up. You have to be consistent and yeah. uh, aggressive, assertive. Yeah. It takes a lot of years to realize even how to deal with multiple personalities. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, in customer service, at the end of the day, all the client wants to hear is your voice. Whether it's good news or bad news, they just want They that. mostly want good news. They mostly want good news. But if, if you can, the, the people that keep coming back to you are the ones that trust you. Yes. That you can, if you keep putting them off, you know, and they're like, well, why, why should I answer my phone call? But if you're calling them and saying. Oh, there you go. You just answer the question. Answer your phone. If answer you're a new your phone. agent, answer your phone. 
no matter how bad it's going to be. And, or call right back. Yes. Yeah. And you take it with a grain of salt and you say, you know what? It fell through. Let's work on the next one. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's mm -hmm. just, it's call back, contact. And then, of course, back to the old school, the customer is always right. Even if they're not, they're <laughs> always right. It, it takes a lot. Mm -hmm. I commend you. I mean, real estate is is not an easy. That's the that's the ultimate customer it is service. So easy for me. It is so, it's easy. so easy. It comes off so easy. Well, okay. Well, look in the camera. Tell us what's next for you. What is your, what's going on in your life? What, tell us your listings. Oh. Tell us anything. Well, what's we've next? got a couple of listings coming up. Um, yep. Just working on our new tech stuff. We've got our new website coming. A um, bunch of awesome listings coming. Um, but as far as what's next, I don't know. I'm looking forward to the next year and just to see how everything plays out. Nice. Um, I know the rates are going up. Luckily, we're in a field that that doesn't necessarily uh, ma matter. It doesn't play a big part. Yeah. Um, and I just think that, you know, being so su successful has a lot to do with, you know, consistency and follow-up. And I have enough clients that I think it's going to, you know, last me uh, the next couple of years. So um, I'm pretty satisfied with where I'm at in my career. Well, good. Well, tell the camera who you are again. Where they can find you, tell them your new website, everything. Well, if it's not up yet, don't tell them that, but tell so them. So I'm Jennifer Conklin. My website is jenniferconklin.com or temeculavalleyhomes.org or lacrestaluxury.com. Awesome. So there are three different websites. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, you can't, well, you can't miss her. Google her. You can't miss her. Her and yeah. uh, well, poor Kelly. Jennifer Conklin and Kelly Weathers, also known as hashtag... Those girls. Those girls. That's all I wanted to hear. Those girls. Nice. Okay. Well, good. Well, Tony, take us out. Let us know where they can find us at the What's Next podcast. You guys can find us in any audio platform. Just go check it out. Download. And also, you guys can find us on YouTube and any social media platform. Rachel does amazing posting, so go check it out. Awesome. Well, thank you. Awesome. Thanks. Take us out, Tony. Tony.